in Canada, your tuition is actually dependent on your program of, of study. If your budget is for the schools that are 20,000 Canadian dollars, I mean, there's nothing wrong in looking at those schools instead of going for the ones that your budget cannot carry. Please don't make that mistake. Please apply to the schools that your budget can carry. In today's video, we'll talk about the universities in Prince Edward Island, the universities in New Brunswick province, and the universities in Newfoundland and Labrador province of Canada, and their tuition for undergraduate international students for the 2023-2024 academic session. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful, beautiful day to be alive. My name is Ijoma and of course, you know, on this channel, we talk about everything Canada from study to work. In case you're seeing my face for the very first time, I'd like to say thank you for clicking to watch this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for keeping this channel going. I don't take your support for granted in any way. So guys, um, I've already done about three videos in this series of universities and tuition, okay? And if you check my description box, you're going to see the link to the three videos I have done. I've done for universities in Ontario, I've done for universities in Alberta, and I've done for universities in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. So let's go straight into today's video. And I'll be starting with the universities in the province of New Brunswick. So I'd like, I'd like you to know that the figures I'll be giving you here are estimated, meaning that they are guides, okay? It could be more, it could be less. So just have, I just want to give you an ex estimated tuition for these different universities in these different provinces. For undergraduate students, for undergraduate students, I need to stress this. I'd like to first of all say that the figures I'm giving you is strictly tuition, okay? Cost of living is not included. Accommodation is not included. Books, cost of books is also not included. So I'm just giving you tuition, all right? So at least you know what you're up against. Why am I not giving you the other figures? Because, for instance, if you opt not to stay in a school residence, you could be paying cheaper, for accommodation. So that's why I don't want to include all those ones. I just want to give you strictly the estimated tuition. So let's go straight to the New Brunswick province. Now the first university in New Brunswick is Mount Allison University. Mount Allison University has an estimated tuition of about 20,000 Canadian dollars per year. And now when I say per year, I mean two terms. So for those that are not aware, in Canada, they have three terms that make up a session. They have the fall term that starts in September. They have the, the winter term or spring term that starts in January. And then they have the summer term that starts in May. Now, summer terms are very optional. So when they are giving you tuition, most of the schools, they give you tuition for the fall and the winter terms. Okay, so these two terms make up a complete year in Canadian universities. So summer terms are optional. So I just want you to know. So when I say per year, you understand that I mean two terms. So if you want to now do the summer term, that means the tuition will be more by the time you add it together. Now let's move on to the next university in New Brunswick province. Province and this university is St. Thomas University. St. Thomas University has an estimated tuition of about 19,000 Canadian dollars per year. Now, the next university is Crandall University. Crandall University has an estimated tuition of about 18,000 Canadian dollars to 20,000 Canadian dollars per year. Now, why do I have 18 to 20. One thing I would like you to know is the fact that in Canada, your tuition is actually dependent on your program of, of study, meaning that there are some programs that are more expensive than others. For instance, the engineering programs are more expensive than the programs you find in the art faculty. 
than the programs you find in any other faculty. So that's why you have the range from 18,000 to 20,000. And it also means that the, the lowest you can pay for any program in the school is 18,000. And the highest you can pay for any program in the school is 20,000 Canadian dollars. I hope that explains it, right? So that's that for the universities in New Brunswick. Now let's move over to the universities in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Now in the, in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, we have the Memorial University of Newfoundland. Memorial University of Newfoundland has an estimated tuition of about 20,000 Canadian dollars per year. And then we'll now move over to Prince Edward Island. And in Prince Edward Island, we have the University of Prince Edward Island. This university has an estimated tuition of about 15,000 Canadian dollars per year. So guys, these are the universities in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, the province of New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. And I would like to say, if this video has been very helpful, this is time to subscribe to the channel, click on that subscribe button, then click the notification bell also to turn on your notification so that anytime I post any video, you will be the first to know. Now, before I end this video, I'd like to say this. If you are an A student and you're hopeful of getting a scholarship in Canada, it would definitely help you. But if you're not an A student, my advice would be to look at those schools that your budget can take. Okay? Look at the schools that your budget can take. Don't start looking at the schools with the big, big tuition. Like an example is the University of Toronto, one of the universities in Ontario. If you have watched the video on the Ontario universities, you will know I mentioned University of Toronto, which has about um, an estimated tuition of about 60,000 Canadian dollars. So if your budget is for the schools that are 20,000 Canadian dollars, I mean, there's nothing wrong in looking at those schools instead of going for the ones that your budget cannot carry. Please don't make that mistake. There are very, very good schools in Canada that their tuition is not as high as that one of University of Toronto. So I just thought to put it out there so that you will be guided while you're searching for universities, while you're sending your applications. Please apply to the schools that your budget can carry. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This brings me to the very end of today's video. And until I come your way next time, please be safe. And always remember that your life is your responsibility. God bless you.